Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech, and in this video, we're gonna try to answer the question, will the YouTube dark theme save battery life on Android? So if you want the TLDR, it goes something like this. If your phone has an LCD display, then no. Using the dark theme won't preserve any battery life. But if you have an OLED, it's plausible. But it's also kind of complicated, and you'll see what I mean. Now, note that we're talking Android here. As far as iOS is concerned, earlier this year, the Apple Insider channel reported that using the YouTube dark theme can save a substantial amount of battery life on the iPhone X. Now, we'll get into more detail about their report a bit later, because we're gonna be using the results for comparison. But if you'd like to watch the whole video, you can find the link to it in the video description. The tests that we did were fairly similar, only conducted on Android devices and over different amounts of time. I looked at phones that had either LCDs or OLEDs because at this moment, those are the most common types of displays on the smartphone market. At the beginning of every test, batteries were fully charged, so each phone was running on full capacity with their respected battery saving options off and do not disturb slash silent options on. Brightness was set to approximately 50% with adaptive brightness options disabled. With no additional apps open in the background, I would take a particular phone, first set the YouTube theme to light, and run a video that lasts a specific amount of time. Once the video was over, I would take the same phone, recharge it to 100%, set the YouTube theme to dark this time, and play the same video again in order to see if there's any difference in battery consumption. Quick disclaimer though, have in mind that these tests were not really scientific. At the end of the day, I'm just a YouTuber trying to do the best with what he has, so take it for what it's worth. Now when it comes to phones with liquid crystal displays or LCDs, I was pretty sure what kind of results I would get, but I did the tests anyway. Now granted, the phone that I used here is an older and not so powerful one, but it did have an LCD and the two different YouTube themes were being compared under the same conditions, so if there was supposed to be any difference in battery consumption, we would be able to see it. So first things first, light theme. With the battery at 100%, I started a one hour long video and left it to play. One hour later, the video was over and the battery had dropped to 70%. After charging the phone back to 100%, I played the same video, only this time with the dark theme enabled. When the video was over, the results were identical. In a nutshell, here's why. LCD screens rely on a backlight to illuminate the pixels, and this backlight stays lit whether the images you're looking at are of a dark or light color. And for this reason, it doesn't matter if you're using a dark or pure black theme. Displayed on an LCD, it simply won't save any battery life. And then we get to organic light emitting diode, or OLED displays. Now the results here were not exactly what I expected, but I don't wanna get ahead of myself. These displays consist of millions of organic light emitting diodes arranged in various red, green, and blue configurations. When a current is applied to them, they light up and produce various colors. In order for them to produce pure black, as you may know, they simply get switched off. Now, while some online sources, including the already mentioned Apple Insider, state that using dark themes and wallpapers can help save battery life on phones with OLED displays, others imply that it's only possible if the color is pure black. In other words, if a substantial amount of pixels is switched off. So this ambiguity left me a bit confused, but things would be clear soon enough, right? Well, here's how things went down. For this test, I used the Google Pixel 2 XL. Like in the previous case, I gave it a full charge, set the YouTube theme to light, started the same one hour long video and left it on. One hour later, the battery was down to 92%. So I charged it back up to full and played the same video, but with the dark theme enabled. When the video was over, the results were identical. Now this was a huge surprise, especially after watching the Apple Insider video. According to their report, they played a three hour long YouTube video on an iPhone 10 with a full charge. Auto brightness was disabled and the brightness was locked to around 80%. By the time the video was over, the battery had dropped to 55%. They then charged the phone back to 100% and played the same video, only this time the dark theme was enabled. Three hours later, the battery had dropped to 76%. That means that there was a 21% difference in favor of the dark theme, which consumed substantially less power. Now, in terms of credibility, in all honesty, at this moment, I really don't have any valid reasons to think that the tests were faked. The Apple Insider video has been up for quite some time. Almost 99% of the votes are likes, 
and even some of the comments indicate that people have noticed better battery life after enabling the YouTube dark theme on their iPhone X. Sure, they used an iPhone X and I used the Pixel 2 XL, but both of those phones have OLED displays, so the test results should at least show a similar tendency, right? Maybe I was just doing something wrong. Maybe the difference accumulates over more time. I mean, they did say that they played a three hour long video and I only played one that lasts an hour. So I ran back to my Pixel 2 XL and tried the same test only with a three hour long video. Unfortunately, because of technical difficulties, I wasn't able to record the full time lapse, so I just filmed the beginning and the end of the video. After three hours of video playback with the light theme active, the battery dropped from a full charge to 73%. On the other hand, when the dark theme was active, the battery dropped from a full charge to 76%. I did get some background notifications in both cases, so again, take that for what it's worth. All in all, this time there was a 3% difference, so technically the phone did save some energy while the dark theme was enabled, but the amount appears so small that we could just be in margin of error territory. Now, it's worth noting that the Pixel 2 XL does have a much higher pixel density than the iPhone X, so that may be the reason why it uses more energy. Also, the iPhone X has a Super AMOLED display made by Samsung, while the Pixel 2 XL features a P-OLED display made by LG. When it comes to phone displays, Samsung is pretty much on the top of the food chain, which is something that probably no one ever said for the LG display featured on the Pixel 2 XL. At this point, I was pretty much all over the place, but I decided to do another test. So I found another older and not so powerful phone, but it had a Super AMOLED display with a pixel density fairly similar to the iPhone X, the Samsung Galaxy S4. How did it do? Well, a one hour long video playing with the light theme active dropped the battery life from 100% to 73%, while the same video playing with the dark theme enabled dropped the battery from 100% to 74%. So again, a negligible difference, but don't worry, because it gets even more complicated. At this point, I actually remembered something. Normally for the first test, I set the theme to light and then switch to dark for the second one. But the first time I prepared the Galaxy S4 for testing, I accidentally left the dark theme on. Not only that, I also forgot to turn off autoplay in the YouTube app. So when the time lapse of the video was done, I couldn't easily pinpoint the exact moment the video ended. So I trashed that time lapse. Luckily, it wasn't permanently deleted. After checking it later on, I was able to see that the one hour long video playing with the dark theme enabled reduced the battery life to 77%. So compared to the light theme results on the Galaxy S4, in this case, there was actually a 4% difference. And if after all of this, you're just confused, well, so am I. But after all said and done, I at least want to try to pick up the pieces and give some sort of conclusion. So here it goes. When it comes to phones with LCDs, due to the way this display technology works, using the YouTube dark theme will not save any battery life. Period. OLEDs. According to some reports by other sources, assuming that they're credible and accurate, using dark themes and backgrounds in general on phones with OLED displays can result with some degree of battery preservation. So same should apply for the YouTube dark theme. Of course, the main report I'm thinking of here is referring to the dark theme and OLED display on the iPhone X. I wanted to see if the YouTube dark theme would also save battery life on Android devices with OLED displays. Despite how negligible they might or might not be, the results of the non-scientific tests I carried out show that it is possible. However, the exact circumstances under which battery life preservation becomes substantial, or even noticeable for that matter, are simply unclear. If you want to save battery life over the YouTube app, the best bet you probably have is to take a break. And there's an option for that. As for the dark theme, it looks cool. And after all of this, that's all I really need it to be. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.